Hi you guys. Alright, I'm going to stop avoiding this. I've been avoiding this for about a month and you're going to know why. I have a ton of notes. It's been a month since I finished phase two and oh look at this. I'm fidgeting and everything. Okay, I'm going to just be completely honest with everybody. I finished phase two and we all know I hadn't hit those that last three pounds. I had three to four pounds left. And so, one of the reasons why I made it a short round is I decided to, I'm 37, and I decided to get a boob lift. And since they were already there, I already had the, the surgery room, um, I decided to have them do lipo as well. Gigi, I know you're not doing it, and I know other people might not, but I thought, it's just four pounds, it's the last, I decided to do it. I'm actually really happy about it. I'm very, very happy about it. Everything looks the same as the way it do, did when I had a bra and Spanx on. It's just now it looks that way when I'm naked. And no, no, there's not going to be any videos about it. Don't even worry. I'm layered up now. I'm in all the compression garments. And so I ended up doing that on April 15th, tax day, which is great. Hi, Dee. <laughs> just anyway, I was thinking about you on that day. And so that's what I ended up doing. So... I got down with the HCG to three to four pounds from goal, and I decided, and about 10 days later is when I did the surgery, which gave enough days for the HCG to be out of my body. My doctor said it was okay. He was fabulous. We did a lift. We put silicone in there because, you know, why not? I mean, it's already, anyway. Women will discuss this on another, on another vlog or just privately as I, actually have with a couple of you, not a couple of you, one specifically I told because I wasn't sure if I was going to share that or not. And she was so incredibly supportive. I'm not going to say whose name it is because you know. Um, but thank you so much for being supportive and I think that it's good to be completely honest about what the procedure is and what it does as, as in the HCG protocol. And for me, I had a little bit left the HCG wasn't going to all of a sudden perk up my boobs, so um, I went in for surgery for that and decided at the same time might as well. He gave me an incredible discount because I only had four pounds, and he took it off a little bit of everywhere from the inner thighs, the outer thighs, the back, the stomach, the every little, he did a little bit and he charged me close to nothing because there was only four pounds. So I did that and that's the full disclosure and that's you know, it's like kid logic, I'm not saying it out loud because I'm an adult, I can do it. Anyway, I had kid logic about it, whatever. I'm very happy and I thank you for support. But what that also means is that I haven't had the sleep that is so helpful on this, on this because I've been in the compression garments since April 15th. And so I've been having a really hard time maintaining. Now I, I've been between 120 and 125. I think we need to get a little you know, uh, crown because I am no doubt queen of steak days. I do a steak day at least two, three times a week and it totally works. And that's because I don't do steak days on the other days. And I cheat and um, not a lot, but I'm learning what I can cheat with. I definitely, I'm so, so, so sorry. Um, let me get your name. Yoli Chula. Um, I'm sorry, but for some of us, we're going to have to go the rest of our lives with little carbs and little starches because that's how our bodies work. I know for me, even a cracker totally bloats me. I'm, I'm nauseous. I'm sick. I've been sticking to the diet for my blood type because obviously my blood type hasn't changed. And that's been very, very helpful. I'm, um, I, during P3, I definitely stuck as much as humanly possible to no carbs, no starches. I decided to have a cheat day. I had some non-yogurt ice cream yogurt with a friend of mine and knew what would happen. And so I planned the next day to be a steak day. So I felt okay about that. But I have been hovering between 120 and 125. The coolest thing is because remember, I'm 37, right? And my scale now even though I hover between 120 and 125, and you know my water weight's up big time because of the, I'm swollen. So I'm in the 52, 53% water, um, and that should be dropping after Tom leaves um, at the end of the week, thank goodness, which is something else to talk about. 
I did not see Tom for two months, and it kind of not freaked me out because, unfortunately, I, yeah, there was no reason for me not to. But, um, or you get what I'm saying. So, I don't know if the HCG threw me off my cycle, but if that happens to anybody, I just kept myself calm about it, took some pregnancy tests and knew I was fine, spoke to the doctor, everything was good. Um, but it did throw me off. I ended up missing Tom for two months, which I would have loved if I had known. I would have kind of planned for it, but whatever. Um, so anyway, I'm hovering between 120 and 125. Tons of steak days. Naturally, the Atkins is amazing. Those bars. Oh, I love them. I love them. They don't throw me off. I mean, well, let's be honest. I have like two or three. They're really good. And I'm still, I still at times get really hungry, but yesterday I ate like crazy, but I ate good stuff. I naturally free once again, gosh, I just love you. Um, I bought those miracle noodles and they are so good. Everybody, whoever's on the fence about miracle noodles, don't, don't be on the fence. There's no fence to have to be on. They're fabulous, 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 fabulous. If you rinse them off, they have no fish taste. I was very concerned about the fish. Oh my gosh, it's six minutes, 22. Okay, let's move on. So the blood type, I have been working out. We knew I was working out. I do believe in working out. Eileen, I agree with you about the working out. I started again because I had to stop because of the boob, blip, lipo, all that stuff. I had to stop working out for a while, so I've been just doing some walks. I'm on P90X again, but I'm going to do it in like 180 days. I'm not really keeping track because instead I'm making sure that every single day I do a workout. And if I don't want to think about what workout I'm going to do, I do the P90X. Well, not every day, every other day. And I still, you know, park really far away and walk and stuff. I so appreciate, in just summary, I so appreciate all your support. And there's Hobbs again, loving you guys. Um, you have zero judgments. It's you guys are incredible. You're I love you so much, especially with me not being on for a month and just emails back and forth. I know I'm not on Facebook and there are uh, there's lots of other reasons why um, my time is limited. But I want to thank you guys. I love you. Eileen, Miss Beans and Cheese, you're going to do great. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. I want to hear about the Miracle Noodles I gave you a couple yesterday. Jenny Mathis, remember, if anybody is asking you to do stuff that that does not fill your tanks, you know, send them to me. I'll be the bitch for you. I'm, like, right there for you. Gigi, yeah, I did the lipo. I know you're not good for you. It's, you know, but for me, you know, I took the easier way out. Um... New York girl, I think you're so cute, you and Gigi with the little whatever you have going on. It's adorable, but I love the both of you. St. Provo, oh, I'm so happy you did a vlog the other day. I love you. Tim, naturally, uh, Tim, and uh, thanks for asking about my breath. He asked about my dragon breath. How cute is that? It's fine. After I got off P2, it's been fine, or I'm just used to it. Who, oh, who knows? Um, Neela, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Um, Miss Saba J, rooting for you. De Denise, oh, my Chicago taxes girl. You, I'm so proud. I feel like a little mother hen with you. I just love you so much. Um, Jalitza, I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. You know, Lake girl. Oh my gosh. Are you, were you not beautiful to begin with? And you're just radiant. You're glowing. You're so adorable with your son the other day in the video. It was, I was cracking up, cracking up, cracking up, cracking up. And you guys are going to do it who are, who are on the program. Vicky, uh, Gyroplane, um, a fan, you're doing great. McKinney, Velvet, um, you know, there's so many other people. I watch you. I'm, I've been with you. I love you. I'll speak to you soon. And thank you for everything.